Good morning. This is Dalia Romero, Spanish interpreter on the line, already sworn in. Good morning, Ms. Romero. This is Judge Payne calling from the BRC. I have a defendant at the head, at the lectern. Can you see if we can make a connection? One, on, one moment, Your Honor. Allow me to connect, please. He can hear the interpreter. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Eddie Joel Negri, Perry. Eddie Joel Negri, Perry. Eric Joel Negri, Perry. Sí. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF 13524AO. I'm charged with battery, dating, violence, and false imprisonment. I did review the charging affidavit in your case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. One second. Sir, are you taking any mental health medications? Antes cuando cuando iba para la escuela tomaba uno para para estar concentrado y uno para para poder dormir. When I was going to school, I used to take one to concentrate and another one to be able to sleep. Okay. All right, sorry. And count one, I'm going to set your bond in amount of five hundred dollars. Count two, five hundred dollars is going to come with pretrial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. You're going to maintain a separate residence from this victim. If you all had a shared residence at some point, I'm going to give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons of firearms. The weapons of firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. Next case, Rivera Garcia. I thought they said he was gone. Did Rivera Garcia not get bonded out? Yeah. All right, he's there. Oh, nice sense. Uh huh. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a second. Do you need the interpreter? Uh, All right. Well, well. Necesita el intérprete. Well, put on the headsets and then we can have a conversation. Póngase los audífonos y podemos tener una conversación. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Brian Charles Rivera Garcia. Brian Charles Rivera Garcia. All right. Mr. Rivera Garcia, you're here in case 2020 CF 12348AO for a violation of probation. Mr. Judge signed your warrant in this case, finding probable cause for that violation. It set your bond at $5,000. The bonds remain as set in that amount. Going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. I can tell you not to talk about your case because everything you tell me can be used against you by the prosecution for prosecution in this case. So, so you talk to your attorney first if you can. If you need something, you need to tell me anything. I'm not taking action on this 
traffic case. All right, thank you, Madam Interpreter. You have a great day. Thank you, Your Honor. Right. We can bring Mr. Turner when after I deal with um, Mr. Mosse. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Charles Turner. Mr. Turner, you're here at case 2021 CF 12308 AO on charges of possession of cocaine, possession of ammunition by convicted felon, possession of cannabis, uh, and possession of drug paraphernalia. One second here. Your Honor, um, the only reason why I'm here today was just to make. Oh, put your name on the record, Mr. Yule. Oh, I was going to get to you in a second. I was trying to get up his case because I had to get to a different screen. But, but go ahead. For the record, Ken Yulo. Um, as I was saying, the only reason I was here was just to clarify with the court. I've pulled up um, this affidavit and this affidavit for arrest warrant, and it appears that the um, incident that occurred in this case had occurred on September 1st. Um, Mr. Turner was released on bond in both of his other cases on September 4th, which is three days after this incident. So there is no new offense that occurred while Mr. Turner was out on bond. So we would just ask that, that the traditional normal bond schedule amounts be set in this case, um, but no additional action be taken. I was just trying to see what conditions were, were already being set. That's what I was. Yeah. So I can make it a... Uh, is uniform so I can. All right, Mr. Turner, in this case, I did, um, Judge Sonia Warren did find probable cause for your arrest. I want to set your bond in count one, amount of $150, count two, $5,000, count three, $150, and count four, $100. Addition of your bond is you not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Be subject to RAM drug testing. You know, you also may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release or any ammunition. I want to point, you already have Mr. Eula representing you in all your cases. Uh, y yes, sir. We, we just filed a notice of appearance this yeah. morning on this case. I, I wasn't quite sure. I didn't get one in this, in this case yet. Yeah, but. it was. It just popped up on the clerk's website, so we just right. got it done. So I, hope we, I suggest you lean on his representations in this case. You have a great day, sir. Thank you, Your Honor. That's all I have. Have a great day. Continue. Thank you, too. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? James Massetti. Mr. Massetti, you're here in case 2021 MM 7219AO on charge of trespass and occupied structure. We uh, did find probable cause the other day for your case, and I was seeing the state of Florida had an offer to resolve your case, I believe. Adjudication of guilt and credit time served, Your Honor. All right. Yeah, I know. 
Mm -hmm. It was Thursday. It was Tuesday. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there was no mental health issue. All right, sir. All right, sir, can you raise your right hand to be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, sir. And you put your hand down. Sir, you're here in that case, 2021 MM 7219AO on charge of trespass and occupied structure. That is a first degree misdemeanor. It's punishable to one year in the county jail and a thousand dollar fine. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Ms. George, what plea do you enter on behalf of your client? Um, no contest, Your Honor. Mr. Moore, let's say you understand by entering a plea of no contest, you're gonna waive all the rights on the plea form that's in front of you. Okay. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No, sir. Have you now or in the past been diagnosed with a mental health sorry, mental health illness? No, sir. Has anybody forced, threatened, or coerced you to enter this plea? No, sir. Do you understand by entering this plea if you're not a United States citizen and could subject you to deportation? Yes, sir. I did have an opportunity to review your charging affidavit, so I did find a factual basis contained therein. I'm going to accept your plea of no contest. Find your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'm going to adjudicate you guilty of the charge. Give you credit for the four days? Three days. Three days that you spent in Orange County Jail with three days credit time served. Court calls the cost of prosecution in this case are $273. There's a $50 public defender application fee and a $50 public defender lien. I want to point, I want to give you two years from today's date to pay that money directly to the clerk in full. You have 30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Christopher Lewan Burns. I right, say it one more time. Christopher Lewan Burns. All right. Mr. Burns, you're here in case 2021 CF 13498 AO on charge of aggravated battery on a pregnant person, domestic violence. They review the affidavits in this case. One second. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in this matter in amount of $10,000, condition on your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You seem to have a question. I want you to talk to Ms. George about your question first because everything you ask me is on the record. All right, have a good day, sir. Do you have any questions about the stipulations or your no contact order?
this. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Costello Bush Jr. Mr. Bush, you're here in case 2021 CF 13523AO on charges of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, domestic violence, and tampering with a witness to hinder communication. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. They did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Yes, sir. Um, good morning. It's Cheryl Benton Bush. All right. Can you raise your right hand be sworn in? Yes, sir. Please tell me swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes, sir. I right, can put your hand down, ma'am. Ma'am, you are. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Bush? I've known this family for about 22 years, and we recently started dating last year, and we got married um, this April. All right. And do you want to have contact with Mr. Bush while this case is pending? No, sir. Has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? No, sir. Did drugs and alcohol play a role in this particular instance? Yes, sir. State, do you have any questions for the witness? I do not, Your Honor. Mr. Bush, I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Ms. George, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. Mr. Bush, in count one, the court is going to set your bond in amount of $15,000. Count two, $5,000. Conditioning your bond is you had no contact with the victim in this case. You need to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I'm going to appoint the, already appointed the public defender to represent you. You also may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Mr. Bush, is, he, is this a 2013 CF case? Sir? Your Honor, can I please say something else? Oh, wait one second. Let me, let me finish this one okay. more thing. Ms. Davis... It's 2013 CF 11436. Yes. All right. Mr. Bush, you're on probation in case Orange County case 2013 CF 11436. You're a violent felony offender, special concern. The law tells me I cannot release you, and you're going to be held anyways on the 72 hour hold. But I'm going to find an on-view violation based on the charging affidavit that I read for a violation of probation. I'm going to set your bond at no bond in that case. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in your violation of probation case as well. Yes, ma'am. I was just, I was just wanted to plead with you to not give him a bond because um, I found out stuff that I didn't know about him and the reason for his actions and the drugs that he's doing, and he relapsed. And I'm just, this is the first time in my whole life that I'm, I'm afraid for my life. All right. And his own family told me if he get out, he's still going to come to the residence. No matter what the courts say. Well, Miss Bush, I I had to you have to I have to give him a bond unless the state files a motion for pretrial detention um, in the new case. But as to his violation of probation case, he's going to be held in no bond in that case. He's not going to be entitled to release or bail on bond on that case because he's a violent felony offender, special concern. Until he resolves that violation of probation, then he's eligible to release. But I'm not sure where that's going to land him, in prison or back out in the community. All right. You have a great day, man. Okay. Thank you. The state of Florida, you intended to file a motion for pre-trial detention? No, Your Honor. Okay. That's it, Your Honor? Yes, sir. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Javaris Willis Hudson, sir. All right, Mr. Hudson, you here in cases. You want to get all your stuff pulled up here. We'll do the first case, 2021 CF12122AO. You've been 
The judge issued a warrant for your arrest in that case, found a probable cause for burglary and conveyance, criminal mischief, battery, domestic violence, and battery. What did I, they, they, huh? they never said the victim or what I burglarized. I'm trying to figure out what date this happened. I'm, I wanna, I'll wanna. i give you that information in a second. Just let me get through all your cases first. Sir. All right, next case is 2021 CF13388AO. Judge signed a warrant in that case to find probable cause for the charges of burglary of an occupied dwelling, grand theft, and criminal mischief. In the last case, 2021 MM72240AO, is a 72240 AO, is Warrant for finding probable cause for a charge of battery dating violence. Now, give you one second. As to that case, it alleges on this happened on October 11th. On a dwelling case. Lettuce as well as October 11th. And the first case, the burglary or the conveyance or dwell, as it's the rest of the warrant says. Bourbon occupied dwelling. Madam Clerk. In um, 2021 CF 12122 AO. Count one is actually Bourbon occupied dwelling. Not convenience. I'm reading out the warrant. I mean, I know the, the, the charging affidavit may have said something different, but the warrant charges were even occupied well. All right. And that allegedly happened on October, I mean, August 30th. All right. So the first case is August 30th. Then there's another burglary of a conveyance that, and another battery case. All those two cases all allegedly happened on October 11th. I'm not going to put the, the victim's name on the record. You'll get your affidavits with that information. As we don't want to tell you when it happened, but while the victim is here to, to tell me they're going to waive their confidentiality, I'm not going to do that. What is happening in August? Well, one thing, one happened in August, two in op one and one in October. With well, two they cases. I didn't talk to a lawyer. Come on, come on, come on. Here you go. I didn't talk to a lawyer. They ain't got no pictures, no, no, nothing. Okay. You want to appoint a public defender to represent you in all your cases? If you want to hire your own attorney as well, you can do that as well. I'm my own paralegal. Okay. Um, I mean, if you want to represent yourself, um, right now, the Florida Supreme Court tells me I have to give you an attorney to make sure you don't get lost in our jail. Oh. So, I, nah, so if you want to represent yourself, that's a conversation you can have. Whatever y'all gonna give me right now. Yeah, and you can talk to Judge Alvarado, Alvaro. I'm sorry about if you want to represent yourself at some later date. Yes, All right, as to your cases though, in 2021, MM seven two two four zero AO. Um, like I said, probable cause has been determined. Going to set your bond in that case amount of $1,500. In 2021, CF 13388, going to set your bond in count one in amount of $8,000. Count two, 150. Count three, 150. These are always going to they all have the same conditions. All right. In 2021, CF 12122 AO. It's not a burger of a occupied dwelling. You're going to set the bond amount of eight thousand dollars. Count two, one fifty. Count three, one fifty, and count four, one hundred. Condition of your bonds in all your cases: no contact with the victims, no contact with any witnesses, no return to the scene of the location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within twenty-four hours of your release. Like I said, I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in all those cases. Now, Ms. Davis, it says he's on probation. I don't have a case number, though. Um, 
it looks like it's 14 CF 10116 AF 10116 okay. All right, Mr. Hudson, looks like you're on probation in case 2014 CF 10116. Seems that you're also a violent felony offender special concern. Court finding the judge finding probable cause in those warrants is my review of those warrants as well to determine probable cause. I'm going to find an on-view violation of your probation. I'm going to set your bond and no bond in that case. I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you in that matter. You're not going to be entitled to release or bail and bond on your violation of probation until that violation of probation is completed. All right, do you have any questions about the stipulations in your no contact order? I'm not going to sign because they won't contact me. I got kids. I got kids and all that, but they said. You got kids? You have kids with the alleged victim, you're saying? Yeah, Taisha. I got All right, okay. Well, all right. I got kids and all that. Like, her daddy going to bring the kid to come see me. They ain't going to press charge. It's just something she's doing about another female. All right, so well. I know how this going to go. Okay. Right now, do you have a, a chime sharing order in place with that with your the mother of your children? Um yeah, I got a um I got a I got a um we had a family lawyer. Um DCF took custody of the kids and Mr. Jerry Mitchell had and got them. And I know my kids. So the kids are the kids in the in the custody of the mother or in the right. or in the father? The mother custody though. All right. In custody of the mother. All right. So do you have access, like a legal access to the child? Are they your children? Like, they my children. You signed a birth certificate? Yes, sir. All right. Well, right now, you can't have any contact with her. So the now we get in front of Judge Alvarado. He may have some other options, parenting app, things like that, where he's going to allow contact. But without her input, i got to order no contact. So I want to make sure you understand that while that's what the paperwork is talking about. You understand that right now, until you get in front of Judge Alvarado, you can't have any contact with her. Alvaro, keep saying Alvaro, Alvaro. All right, have a good day, sir. Got Texas on my mind. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Charles Mack. Mr. Mack, you're here in case 2021 CF 13485 on charges of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, dating violence, and battery dating violence. You review the charging affidavit in this case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. State, is this prior case with the same victim? Um, Your Honor, I wasn't able to find it in Orange County, and I only had limited time this morning. I can do okay. further research if you like. Ms. Davis, you know this, I see a 2021 conviction for battery domestic violence, violation of a pretrial release order. The other incident with the same victim, they threw out the majority of the charges. Not in Orange County, Your Honor, so I won't be able to see. All right. All right, Mr. Mack, in count one, of course, going to set your bond amount of $8,000, count two, an amount of $1,000. Condition your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. Now, I don't have any contact with any witnesses from this case. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You're going to have to maintain a separate residence. We'll give you a one-time return to any shared residence you, you have to retrieve any personal items with law enforcement. <clears throat> I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. 8000 Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Selena Rodriguez. 
Ms. Rodriguez, she here in case 2021 CF 13505AO on charge of aggravated assault domestic with a weapon, domestic violence, and battery, domestic violence. I did review the charging affidavit in your case. I did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in count one in amount of $3,500 and count two, $500. You'll be subject to pretrial release supervision. You don't have no contact with the victim in this case. You are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at a shared residence. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be determined to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. If you have any questions about the stipulations or no contact order, ma'am? No, sir. All right. You have a great day, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Christopher Sato. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF 13415AO on a charge of battery by strangulation, domestic violence. The judge signed your warrant in this case. Did it find probable cause for your arrest? Yes. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Brianna Rodriguez, R O D R I G U E Z. And can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Good. Okay, there you go. You're going to speak up a little louder. I'm sorry. There you go, no problem. You can step forward towards the mic, too. It's not going to bite you. <laughs> All right. Can you tell me how you know Mr. Sedia? Um, he's my boyfriend. And do you want to have contact with him while this case is pending? Yes. Has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? Um, I mean, okay, so he slapped the phone out of my hand. And we, the cops came and charges were dropped or whatever. So I guess so, but not really. Um, and oh, I, I, can't, I can't hear the beginning of what you said. Okay, I'm sorry. I was saying that before, like one time he slapped the phone out of my hand. Uh -huh. And then um, charges were not pressed, but they were dropped. So there was a prior case, but it was dropped. All right. And when was that? Um, a couple of months ago. All right. And are you aware of... Mr. Seti is criminal history. Um, yes, but this one I take accountability for because I, it was my fault. I overreacted just because he disconnected the internet at home in the morning and I work from home. Okay. So he literally pushed me with the door. Is what he actually did. Did drugs or alcohol play a role in this incident? No, sir. Okay. Say you got any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Sayo, I'm appointing a public defender to represent you in this case. Ms. George, do you have any questions for the witness? No, Your Honor. All right. Does anybody want to advocate for anything other than no contact? Your Honor, um, based on the victim's testimony that she wants contact and the fact that he Although he was arrested, he has no convictions. Um, I would advocate for a non-hostile contact order. All right, and state. Your Honor, there was a previous event in May of this year um, with the same victim. Also, um, Mr. Seder is a sex offender, and he has ex he has extensive history, Your Honor. So I would still go with the no contact. No, but I, okay, so last time in May, that was nothing. The cop actually lied about that because nothing in the police report that I advised said anything at all about him hitting me because he didn't hit me. Yeah, all right. So then that's why everything was dropped. You. So you're trying to explain away something that I don't know if you should be trying to explain away. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Um. Extensive history. And then, like, this time it was me. That's why I'm saying, like... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to explain that to you. All right. I don't, I don't, 
don't know how to say this in a more judicial way. All right, people's actions are their own. In our criminal justice system, we take account for people's own actions, not anybody else's actions or their, or their reaction to somebody else. You understand what I'm telling you? Mm -hmm. So whatever somebody does, their actions or what's being held accountable in our system. But he didn't hit me. If or he didn't choke me. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I don't know what about this case, but oh. the previous case, and then like there's another incident, and then like you know some other thing that's going on. Like I don't know what's happening with you all. Like you're just having, you know, this stressful situation. You guys don't know how to deal with. Or, he was literally or, or over. He doesn't know how to deal why. with because his reaction to you. You know, if somebody's upset and the other person's calm, it's usually harder for that somebody, the other person to continue to be upset. Yeah. Like it, you know, it's, it's like trying to fight with a person that's, not, that's just laying there. So that's what I'm saying. There's like, so the other person's reaction to the other person doesn't mean anything. That's, that's what the person being held accountable. You understand what I mean? You understand what I'm saying? I guess. You, you get upset with him or you get upset with him about anything and, you know, his reaction to you being upset is on him. Yeah. But he didn't. That's how our systems work. Me. That's what I'm telling you. No, I'm talking in the, this case or the previous case or any other time. Oh, okay. Well, he's never like put a hand on me, so that's what I'm trying to make clear. All right. All right. So in this case, we're going to set your bond in amount of $3,500. Conditioning bond will be subject to pre-trial release supervision. I don't know. You're going to have to figure out a way to co-parent uh, with your girlfriend and in a more peaceful manner. I'm going to give you no hostile contact. But I'm going to explain to you like this. Things are going to come up because you guys live together. You also have, you have a child together. There are going to be disagreements that are going to happen between the two of you. However, those disagreements cannot turn violent. They cannot be threatening. There can be no abusive language used. There can be no contact, physical contact of any sort. You understand? That's not permission. Like, yes, you can touch me. Yes, I'm agreeing to this contact. All right? Yes. Because no matter whether she calls law enforcement or somebody that sees or hears you are arguing calls law enforcement, you're going to be arrested. You're going to stay here with me at the Orange County Jail on no bond status. You understand that? Yes, sir. You also have 48 hours to get to the sheriff's office, or office to register as a violent sexual predator, sexual offender from your upon your release. You understand that? He is. I'm telling him oh, I'm just that he has okay. I'm this year release, which is also part of the law, that you have reporting obligations. Once you're released from any custody, you have to get to you have to go report within 48 hours. Okay. So I'm making sure that the people don't come see you looking for you because you didn't report. Gotcha. I'm going to point. I already appointed a public fan to represent you in this case. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. Be blessed. Oh yeah, no weapons. Oh sorry, no weapons, no firearms. Any weapons? You, any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Uh, Forrest Stevenson. Mr. Stevenson, you're here in case 2021 CF 13508AO on a charge of battery of battery on the best of violence by strangulation and battery, felony battery, and battery dating violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Um, Hold on, sir. I'm going to set your bond in count one in the amount of $2,500, count two, 150, count three, 150. We search for the pretrial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. You got to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at the residence. I um, may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. 
Now, I want to have you talk to Ms. George, who I just appointed to be your attorney, because everything you ask me is on the record. Um, Your Honor, um, I believe he does not live here. Is it okay for him to return back? Oh, from Miss Davis telling me that that's no longer oh. a okay. I just want to make sure requirement. They they live in the state of Florida, so also, I stopped saying it. Also, Your Honor, um, I explained that because the victim is not here to testify today, there can be no contact, um, even if they travel to the city together. Yep. Is that uh, all right? So, sir, it's going to look like this. My no contact order is going to be in effect wherever you go. So, until uh, somebody in the black robe looks like me tells you you can have contact, there's going to be no contact. So, you can get in front of the division judge in this case, and they can have a hearing and hear from the victim and modify that condition. But until that happens, there's going to be no contact. You understand? I, I'm I'm not sure if I do understand. All right. Did you read the paperwork that's in front of you? It's an order. I, I've I've read the paperwork, but All right. what do you not understand about the order? This was a. This don't was talk a, about the facts. I'm not saying, I don't talk about the facts of the case. I want you to, like so. Okay, listen to me. The no, this, these are conditions that I laid out for you are an agreement between me and you. It has nothing to do with the victim. It's to, you're tell, I'm telling you that you're you're agreeing to abide by my conditions. Well, right now she's waiting for me to get out right now, and if I can't contact her or anything, just, uh, I just, I just don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I, I don't even live in this city, and and we've been together. This is my fiance of seven years, and just, we 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 had a, 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 a we had a issue, and you know it was a mistake, but it's never happened before. I've never yeah. been to jail before. I, right. I just, I really. I just really, I, I don't know what to do here. I mean, well, this is nev I've never been in a situation like I'm this. Telling you to have no contact with her. So do you understand the stipulation is on the order? Like you seem to be a relatively young and intelligent person. So uh, your explanation to me that you don't know what to do in life well, is kind of seems to be counterintuitive. She's also my way, way home. I have no one to take me home. We drove in here in a car. You trying to explain to me? With we drove together in a car. Okay. Yeah, her car. So are you, are you also telling me there's no other way, ways of transporting you back? Where are you going? Bradenton's about two and a half hours. So Bradenton, Florida. Yes. Okay, that's right there. So there's the Greyhound buses. I mean, that thing. This thing may be a train that goes that way. You can you can get back. So, hey, she, I don't even have my house key. She has my house key. We live together. In the well, once house. again, you're not going Is back that... home because you're not, so you're not listening. You know, all right. You, like you're lowering my confidence. Like I'm like, you're going to be able to buy my conditions. Because I just ordered you to have no contact. So part of the no contact conditions is that you cannot be within 1,500 feet of her residence or place of work or in person or face to face. Or online or any other forms of contact. You also, I gave you a way out though to maintain a separate residence, give you a return with law enforcement. So you can't go back home without, without law enforcement. So you understand what's going on because if you don't, and she may not be too happy to see you, and this happens again, you guys, you violate my orders, they're gonna arrest you out there and on the West Coast, they're gonna put you in a little van and send you back here. I understand. All right. So, do you understand the conditions? All right. All right. Have a great day, sir.
number two. All right. All right. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Giovanni Guy. Ms. Guy, are you here in case 2021-MM3518-AO on charges of battery domestic violence and stalking? Judge Sonny Warren, in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Lloyd Rose, uh, last name R-O-S-E. And can you raise your right hand this morning? These solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you God. I do. Can you tell me how you know this guy? Uh, we met as teens. We've been together for eight years. And do you want to contact with her while this case is pending? Yes. Has there been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? Yes. When was the most recent incident before this one was alleged? Uh, about two years ago. Right. And you guys have children in common? Yes, we do. How many? Two. Their ages? Four and five. All right. All right did Joe's alcohol play a role in this incident? No, sir. Say you got any questions for the witness? No, sir. No, I'm talking to the state of Florida. Good morning. Good morning. Do you live together? We do not. Does um, does Ms. Guy show up at your workplace or your home uninvited? Uh, she did to bring me my kids to work, to my job. Has she slashed your tires? She has. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Uh, I just want to use correct. You said you guys are still a couple? Yes, we are. We are uh, recently separated, but we're, we're, we, we worked through uh, a few things. Um, um, we've decided to get back together. All right, Ms. George. No questions, Your Honor. Um, I would have a, ever asked for a no hostile contact order. Um, they do not live together. Um, however, they shall share children together. I do not see any other criminal history other than the one arrest. Um, so based on the victim's testimony that he does want contact um, and that if this happens again, he is willing to call law enforcement, I would ask for a non hostile contact order. I don't know. Can I, George, you may want to investigate whether Miss Guy thinks she's going to be able to do that. Yeah, I can do it, but. Your Honor, can I say one more thing? Sure. Uh, when the, this incident was occurring, she was recently pregnant, so she was going through her pregnancy hormones and trying to battle her emotions. So, I mean, we have recently separated. We had separated, so. Oh, it's on. You're saying she was, she was pregnant at the time in May? Yes, yeah, she just had a baby. Okay, so you have three children now, or, or this is a child from a different person? This is a child from a different person. Okay. Your Honor, um, I did speak to my client. She states she is able to abide by the non-hostile contact order and does, in fact, want contact with the victim. I, I explained also that if she violates, she could be brought back here and held at no bond for right. violating the court's order. She states she does understand that. All right. Super confused about the dynamics of your relationship, but I want to do this. Well, I think um, set your bond account one five hundred dollars, count two five hundred dollars. Going to be subject to pre-trial release supervision. 
you had no hostile contact with the victim in this case. Now, no hostile contact means this. You're allowed to have disagreements. There's going to be problems that are going to come up and arising or raising and co-parenting with another person and co-parenting with another individual as well, seems to be. But those issues and those disagreements with this victim cannot turn violent. They cannot be threatening. There can be no abusive language used. No matter whether, because no matter whether he calls law enforcement or whether somebody that sees or hears you all arguing or you showing up to his job calls law enforcement, you're going to be arrested. You're not going to be home with your baby. You're not going to be home with your two other kids. You're going to be here with me because I can't trust you to be out and without violating my orders. Actually, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to make a condition that you will not return to this, like return to his place of work. Do not possess any weapons of firearms. The weapons of firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I'm going to appoint Ms. George to represent you as the public defender's office represents you in this case. You have any questions about your no, your no hostile contact order? All right. No, sir. All right, everybody have a great day. Yes. Well, that was one of the scenes. Yana, you got two family members coming in. You want to see them at the same time or separate? Uh, for Key? Key and Williams. I believe they're sisters, Your Honor. All right, that's right. That's right. Do, 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 do. You two are home. I just need whoever the victim is. Um, I think they're the victim of each other's case. All right. All right. That's, that's right, really. So what are the family members? Well, just the victim. Yeah, I want, yeah, I need, I need, yeah, I would like Key and Williams together if I could do that. Please, thank you. I was just saying there was somebody in the audience. I'm like, well, I don't see anybody out there, so. <laughs> I like, I know there's like a secret corner over there that I'm like not a privilege to in this courtroom. That's why I like two. Two, I can see everybody out there. In this courtroom, I'm like, Ms. Davis has a better view than me. If you were sitting up as high as I was, you'd be able to see. She, she needs some light, some, light, some you know, little, little pump up in her chair. Little go-go gadget chair. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll go left to my left to my right. Ma'am, can you tell me your name? I'm Tangela Key. Ms. Key, you're here in case 2021 MM 7253 AO. On charge of battery domestic violence. They reviewed the charging affidavit, did find probable cause. All right, ma'am, can you tell me your name? Kira Williams. Ms. Williams, you're here in case 2021 MM 7254 AO on charge of battery domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Review your charge of affidavit did find probable cause for your arrest. All right. Ms. Williams, since I'm talking to you, can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Mm -hmm. These psalmists were affirmed. The testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth to help you God. I, yes. I can put your hand down. Can you tell me how you know Miss Key? <laughs> That's my sister. And do you want to have contact with your sister while this case is pending? No, we don't have contact anyway, so it doesn't matter. No, well, that's not the question. Mm -hmm. Do you want to have contact with her? I no, I guess. Okay. And, but it was, well, okay, there's some drugs and alcohol. There was some alcohol involved, I guess, in this case. Not not really. It was, we, we had don't a talk, few. Don't talk about the facts. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. I don't know. No, it's just... Okay. 
Right. And it hasn't been previous instances of domestic violence between you all in the past? Yes. Well, like since you were adults, I say that. Mm, not really. I think no. All right. No, we don't really fight often. We don't fight at all, really. Okay. <laughs> all right. And Ms. Key, can you raise your right hand this morning? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. All right, ma'am. Can you tell me how you know Ms. Williams? She's my baby sister. All right. And do you want to have contact with her while this case is pending? I would love to, but um, we live separate places. Eventually, we'll once it calm down, we'll we'll start back on um, talking. All right. All right, State. Do you have any questions for either witness? No, Your Honor. And. Ms. George. No, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. So, this way, it's only confirmed. Do you want to have contact with your sister? Because you're kind of, I'm kind of like unsure yeah, about that, that, Yes, no. Yeah, we can have contact. It does. Yeah. All right. I don't do this. We're going to set bonds in both cases. Same thing $100 pre trial release. You're not going to have, conditionally, your pre-trial release in both of your cases, you're not going to have to have no hostile contact with each other. No hostile contact means this. Got a little old to be doing this. So, no hostile contact means this. You cannot have, you can disagree with your sisters. Your siblings don't have to agree. However, in this age, you tend to agree on more things than not because, you know, you're kind of, Experiencing life in the same, you know, the same time, the same sphere, concerns about the same kind of things, children, families moving forward. But those disagreements that you have with your siblings cannot turn violent. They cannot be threatening. There can be no abusive language used. Because no matter whether you call law enforcement on each other or somebody that sees or hears you all arguing and calls law enforcement, you're both going to be arrested. You're going to be spending time here with me, probably separately, but here in the same location at the Orange County Jail on a no-bond status. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Weapons or firearms you all have need to be thrown to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. You're not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Say, are you requesting drug testing? No, Your Honor. All right. I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you both. However, one of you is going to get something called regional conflict counsel. The other one is going to get the public defender's office because you can't be represented by the same attorney without waiving your conflicts. All right. You have a great day. Thank you. Oh, that's it. This is all these cases today. TV cases. It's a trip. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Robert Rayford. Say it one more time. Robert Rayford. Sir, so you're here in K2021 MM7250 AO on charge of battery domestic violence. Did review the charging affidavit in your case. Did file probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to set your bond in this case in amount of $500. It's going to come with pre trial release supervision. You have no contact with the victim in this case. You are to maintain a separate residence from this victim. I'll give you a one-time return with law enforcement to retrieve any personal items you have at that location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Do you have any questions about the stipulations on your no contact order? No, sir. All right. You have a great day, sir.
was last. Well, she was, I, remember, I was noting that somebody had been drinking. Come on, wine. Come on, wine. All right. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Sarah Pennington. Tiana. Oh. St. Thomas. St. Thomas, all right. Mr. Thomas, you're here in case 2021 MM 487AA on charge of battery. Didn't review the charging affidavit in your case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Good morning, Judge Bain. My name is Sarah Pennington. All right. Ms. Pennington, can you spell your last name for me? Yes, P E N N I N G T O N. And can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? These psalmists swear affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, not but the truth, help you God. I do. All right, put your hand down. Ma'am, can you tell me how you know Miss St. Thomas? Uh, she's my daughter. Okay. And do you want to have contact with her while this case is pending? Yes, I do. I have a question. Is she seeing a mental health provider on a regular basis? Um. Uh. I'll try to make it quick. Um, we moved to Florida about a year ago. Yep. So I've been trying to find a primary care physician. They've been booked out for like till next year. Mm -hmm. um, so I seen her mental health kind of going downhill. So I took her to the ER last week yeah. and she ended up in a 72 hour Baker's Act. Um, so she has a follow up appointment November 1st okay. in Kissimmee, Florida through Park Place. And uh, she also has a doctor's appointment tomorrow afternoon for um, a blood panel because she has an eating disorder. Right. Um, so it's been tough, you know, just trying to trying to get well, her in. I'm trying, trying to determine, it, does she have a proper support system to deal with her mental health issues? Um, we have something here at the jail called mental health pretrial release. Okay. Um, she can be screened for that. Um, but that means she's gonna have to stay with us for a little bit longer, so the doctors have time to con get like to evaluate her and you know, prescribe proper treatment and medication. Or do you that, or you think that's something that's gonna happen at home? That's what I'm trying to ascertain. Yeah, that's that's what we're working on right now. No, I'm asking you because I can release her today. Um, you know, with conditions and things like that, or I can keep her for a little bit and have her see the doctors, trying to see what option you're How trying to How long would that take. be? Say again? How long would that be, her stay here, if think, she did? I think another day or two. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know. Somebody well, I do have follow-up set up already. A couple of days. It's a couple of days. I think it's like, it's like a couple of days, like two days. Yeah. Um, I'd feel comfortable with bringing her home. It's me, my husband, and her. Um... I have the follow-up set up already. Um, All right, I'm going to do this. Ms. St. Thomas is going to release you on pre-trial release in this case. Conditions of your pre-trial release that you to have no hostile contact with your mother. You understand that? I'm sorry. You allowed to have disagreements with your mother, but those disagreements cannot turn violent. They cannot turn threatening. There can be no abusive language used in this case while you're out on pre-trial release in this case. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons and firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Make a condition that you not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol that you not have prescriptions for. Because based on the information I have in front of me, if you mix alcohol or any other drugs with any other medications that you should use, use to treat these other these mental health illnesses, you're gonna make things worse. And you you know, probably gonna end up in a state of crisis at that point. I want to order that you keep your mental health appointments while you're out on release in this case. Yes. Take her medications too. Yep. Mm -hmm. I want to order that you take any medications that your doctors are prescribing you in your doses that you're being prescribed. You understand that? Yes. All right, I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, ma'am. Thank you, sir. All right, have a great day, ma'am. You too. Take care. Pre-Friday. It's pre-Friday. Okay. <laughs>
It's a harvest moon coming. I said nothing. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Major Brown. Brownie here in 2021 CT252, case out of Seminole County. Judge in Seminole County for a failure to appear warrant. Set your bond amount of $95. Bond's going to remain in set. We're going to appoint a public defender to represent you if you can't bond out before you get over sent over Seminole County. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Antonio Lowe. Mr. Lowe, Mr. Lowe, you're here in case 2016 CF 647 out of Lake County for a violation of probation. Judge of Lake County set your bond at no bond. Your bond's going to remain at set. Going to appoint a public defender to represent you to get you over to Lake County. You have a great day, sir. All right, we're going to point a public defender represent Mr. Luke. I'll wait the appearance, Your Honor. He's here for a Duval case, 2016 CF. Well, I think it's a writ of some sort. So I well, thought we weren't seeing these, but he has a purge amount of $1,000. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Good morning, sir. Augustus Wright the second. Right here for a Duval County case, 2016 CF, maybe 33891. Judge in Duval County sets your bond in amount of $5,000 on your warrant. Is it with PTR or? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna get your warrant for one again. Again, for a second. Yeah. All right. It says, all right. I would. Is this fifteen hundred dollars and three? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand dollars and three dollars. I'm oh, sorry. All right. There you go. Sorry. Bond in this case is fifteen thousand three dollars. So I'm going to point the public defender to represent you to get you over to Duval County. I have no idea, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a judge of Duval County. I had no idea. I, I, they sent us a warrant saying that, confirming that they have a warrant for your arrest for a charge of grand theft. And the judge in Middleburg says, so actually, maybe. Clay County, Duval, Clay County, some of that area. It, it's on the Middleburg, Middleburg connect. I mean, and it runs, it touches both counties. So we'll get you out there as soon as we can. Yes, sir. So I can get bonded out now? Yeah, you can bond out if you can afford it. Thanks, sir. No, no, I mean, uh, somebody wrote PTR on my little sheet there. So I was, I was like, I was checking. I was like, mm, I remember seeing that. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Brian Crittenden. You got to step a little bit further in front of one microphone so I can hear you. Brian Crittenden. Thank you, sir. Thank You're you. here in case 2020 CF 7675AO for a violation of probation. It's an on view arrest for your violation. Your bond is set at no bond because the court did find probable cause for that on view. Uh, you seem to be a violent felony offender, special concern, so you're not going to be entitled to release or bail and bond on this case until your violation of probation is completed. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? 
Uh, Patricia Renee Cole. So, Cole, you're here in K2020 CF10569 AO for a violation of probation. Judge signed your warrant in this case, set your bond at no bond. Your bond's going to remain at no bond. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. Um, the I don't know if I can speak or not, but well, well, to ask Miss George your question before you start talking to me. Yes, Um, Your Honor, um, my client stated that the charges in Seminole County were dropped that violated her probation. Um, and the probation officer reinstated her probation is what she's stating. I don't know how I can check that. I, I, I tell you right now that those two things are independent of each other. Your violation of probation and any other new charges you're facing are two different, two different, two totally different things. So you got to talk to your, the judge about your case. And if the state of Florida doesn't want to proceed, then that's up to them. All right. You have a great day, man. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Philip Lucas. Mr. Lucas, you're, Mr. Lucas, you're here in K2019 CF12659 AO on a Violation of probation. Judge signed your warrant in that case. Set your bond at no bond. Your bond's going to remain at no bond. You want to appoint the public defender to represent you? You have a good day, sir. You have a good day. Okay. Right. Lost somebody back there. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Good morning, uh Trevor Reed. Mr. Reed, you're here in case 2019 CF 12643AO for a violation of probation. Bond is no bond in your on your warrant. Your bonds can remain as set. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Melissa Schwartz. Ms. Schwartz, you're here in case 2016 CF. One two eight two zero on a violation of community control. Judge signed your warrant in this case. Set your bond and no bond. Your bonds going to remain in no bond. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. I have a private lawyer. You have a private lawyer. Um, you know, this is oh, that's right. You're you represented by Miss Kagan. Yes. And I think we tried to reach out to her this morning. Uh, we didn't get a response as to whether she wanted to appear, but. As long as, you, as long as you're in contact with her, that's all that matters. Yeah, I'm here. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, you have a great day, man. All right, Mr. Thomas, come on up. Got to get in front of the microphone, though. There you go. Can you tell me your name, sir? Lonzo Leonis Thomas. Mr. So Thomas, you're here in two matters. The first one, 2020 CF 13796AO for a violation of probation. Just signed your warrant in that case, set your bond amount of one thousand dollars. You also here in 2019 CF 15493AO for violations of probation. Just set your warrant in count one amount of one thousand dollars and count two in amount of two hundred and fifty dollars. Conditions of your wait, conditions that you're not possessing any drugs or alcohol while you're out on release in these cases. What was that, sir? You got 24 hours from the time you're released to report to probation. All right. What's wrong? Am I released or no? You have bonds, so you can bond out, but you gotta get. We gotta report to probation within 24 hours after you bond out. Um, my charge, the original charge that I was violated. What happened with that? What do you? We were on probation, so you, I don't. You, I didn't look. You must have pled or went to trial or something. I'm not sure. The charge, um, loitering, prowling, is the one that got me. Violated. I, I don't, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't remember reading that on your affidavit. There were some other technical violations. I don't remember seeing a new law case. But 
you need to get a probation, talk to your probation officer, figure it out. Go and appoint a public defender to represent you in this case. All right? Yes, sir. Does anybody have anything else? I think from the state. Nothing from defense. <laughs> and we say. Say. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Diallo Faust. It's a Faust. You're here for two cases. The first one being 2021 CF 13433 AO. A judge signed a warrant and find probable cause for the charges of aggravated assault with a firearm and aggravated battery with a firearm. Set your bonds in those cases, amount of $2,500 in count one and $3,500 in count two. Condition of the bond, no return to the scene, to the location, no possession of any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And you have no contact with any victims or witnesses from that case. You hear also in 2021, CF 13503AO, for charge of possession of firearm by a convicted felon and two counts of possession of ammunition by a convicted felon. Court did review the charging affidavit in that case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond account one amount of five thousand dollars. Count two, one thousand five hundred dollars, and count three, one thousand five hundred dollars. Condition of the bond: no weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within twenty-four hours of your release. You are out on bond in case two thousand twenty CF one one six eight three AO. Court found a probable cause you committed two new law offenses, two new, well, several new law offenses, is going to revoke that bond. You're going to set a new bond at zero dollars. I want to appoint a public defender to represent you in your new cases. You have a great day, sir. Uh, yeah, on the cases, on the two fire, I mean, two possession of ammunition charge, like, I, they charged me twice with the same charge. Well, they can charge you per bullet. So that's per what they did. Bullet. Yep. You charge me per bullet? Correct. Oh. Right. Have a great day. What happened to um, Alvarado? He's uh, in the main, so he'll be on the third. All right. Yeah, we could have started at one. You could have let me know. We could have, we could have did it all just at one. I'm going to say next time. Like, you know, I mean, if there's a problem that comes up after we recess, then let me know, and then we'll just, we can move the time. It's in B to fix it. They have an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send B to fix it. He'll fix it. Come <laughs> on, B. You're supposed to be able to fix it, man. <laughs> Can't be having people here. All right. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? Good morning, Your Honor. Michael Candelario Rosario. <clears throat> Mr. Candelario Rosario, you here in case 2021 MM 7255 AO on a charge of battery. Did review the charging affidavit in your case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Give me a second here. Uh -huh. I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you in this matter. Yeah, I just one second. Give me one second. Yes. And. Miss Davis, he doesn't qualify. He 
He could qualify. All right. Mr. Candelaro, we'll release you on pretrial release in this case. Conditions of your pretrial release that you have no contact with the victim in this case. Now return to the scene of this location. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Yes, sir. George, were you able to answer Mr. Candelario's question? Yes, Your Honor. All right. All right, Mr. Candelario, you have a great day. Your Honor, can I also ask for no drugs, no alcohol? I'm oh, sorry. All right, Mr. Candelario, wait a second. The state of Florida is asking me to also impose no drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. I'll make that condition of your pretrial release in this case. No drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Okay. Are you requesting drug testing? You said what, hey. sir? No, Your Honor. All right. All right. No drugs, alcohol without a valid prescription, no contact with the victim, no return to the scene and location where this incident occurred. Absolutely. Right. Other than that, stay out of trouble. We'll see you. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Your Honor, Timothy Jarman is on downtown court. Okay. All right. Jarman. I'm going to appoint a public defender representative, Mr. Jarman, in case 2021 MM 7239 AO. I'll waive the appearance, Your Honor. I guess he's downtown on his failure to appear case. All right, did find probable cause for his arrest for the charge of battery. Going to set his bond in the amount of $500, condition of the bond, no contact with the victim. No return to the scene, the location where the incident happened. No weapons, no firearms, the weapon firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of his release. And I'm going to appoint the public defender, already appointed the public defender to represent him in that case. Good morning, sir. Can you tell me your name? John Edward Jacoby. John. What happened to, you said Mc, McMinnis? McMinnis? All right, McMinnis bought it. Right. No, we didn't. Oh, German, I guess we had German. Gary Hedrich. All right, so we had, this is Mr. Hedrich. Kobe. No, this is he's, oh, he said this is Mr. Jacoby. You're confusing me, man. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she can be confused up here. Because Sorry, I Mr. Jacoby. Men's bonded. I don't see that one. I was like, you you're on Jacoby. Throwing me off. <laughs> it's the right. city case. Well, it's not city, but it's this. Uh, oh. All right. Oh. Sorry, I apologize. So you're here in case 2021-MO897AO for a failure to appear on a charge that seems to be possession of an open container in a public prohibited area and trespass. Yes, sir. Anybody who's been in contact with the city or the state where you're making an offer to resolve this case? I'm no, saying, I guess no. I guess the only charge that they filed on was the, city, right? the possession of open container. Yes, Your Honor. I believe, Your Honor. Yes. Oh, is it adjudication of guilt, credit time served, or? Uh, that's fine. It's right. usually we usually just go with the city offer. So. All right, Mr. Jacob, if you want to resolve your court case with the court, it will be adjudication of guilt, credit time served, uh, yes, court costs, and a ten dollar filing fee. You want to take that offer? Yes, sir. All right, can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yes, sir. All right, you can put your hand down, sir. 
So you're here on that charge of possession or consumption of alcohol in a prohibited area, open container. That's a second degree misdemeanor. It's punishable up to 60 days in the county jail on a $500 fine. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you want to plea of guilty or no contest to resolve no this case? No contest? Sure. Right, do you understand by entering a plea of no contest, you're going to waive all the rights outlined on the plea form is in front of you? Yes, sir. Right. Are you under the influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? Medication. Is that, yes, is that medication affect the way you think and understand the world? No, sir. It's just dialing from seizures. Okay. Has anybody forced, threatened, or coerced you to enter this plea? No, sir. Do you understand by entering this plea if you're not a United States citizen and could subject you to deportation? Yes, sir. I did have an opportunity to view your charging affidavit and court file in this case, so I did find a factual basis contained therein. I'm going to accept your plea in this matter of no contest. Finds your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'm going, to, going to adjudicate you guilty of the charge. I'm going to give you three days in Orange County Jail with three days credit time served. Court costs in this case are $223. There's a $10 filing fee. Looks like you got a public defender, so there's a $50 public defender application fee and a, uh, a $50 public defender lien in this case. I'll make all those costs payable to the clerk within two years of today's date. You have 30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. Yes, sir. You have a great day, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Sharon Robertson. Ms. Robinson, you're here in case 2021 MM 832 AO on a, a failure to appear warrant. Judge signed your warrant in that case. That's your bond amount of $500. Your bond's going to remain as set in that amount. That was a false case, though. Uh, it was proven uh, as listen, listen, this listen. Year. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just here to tell you the reason why you're here. Okay. The facts of the case you can resolve with the trial court okay. at a trial. It's a beautiful thing about our system. Okay. So when you see Judge Bigney, you can set a trial in front of her, and you can resolve your case in that manner. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. I'm done. I don't go home. I still have a bond. That's it. I'm a Actually, ma'am, did you want the public defender to represent you in this case? All right. Okay, I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you in this case. I thought she had the public defender already. No. All right, ma'am. Yeah, I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. Ms. George, she's going to give you a sheet of paper with their information on it so you can get in contact with your attorney. Any conditions, Your Honor? Okay, thank you. Uh, Whether there no, no con Oh, sorry, Ms. Robinson. Robertson. Yeah. That's a false warrant. Yeah, I don't know about the false warrant. I'm just trying to, yep. Yeah. All right, so this is the, I'm going to continue the no contact order that was put in place on September 14th of this year. So you had no contact with the victim in this case. And then we'll get you in front of Judge Bigney yeah, as soon as we can. We filed this case twice. And in the first case that they filed this case, it was found false case. It's all false information. It was all a lie. It was never filed. Once again. So the warrant should have been dropped as of April 15th. Caleb Robinson was my attorney on that. I don't know. I'm just so telling you right now. They up on a warrant that's not even real. The warrant I saw, it looked, it looked pretty real. So. Okay, well, it was found to be a false case. She had she filed under an alias and perjured herself in a court of law. She filed false paperwork. She should already have warrants on her. All right. So I have um, no family. I have nobody. So I'm stuck here on a $500 bond until I go to court? Yep, you should be in front of... Let's see. Huh? Actually, let's find out. Well... Ms. George, did you want me to arraign her on this case? That's going to be the next step in this case. Um, and get her at least set for pretrial, I mean, versus her being seen next week for arraignment. Yes, Your Honor. Um, All right. We'll enter a plea of not guilty. Well, let's tell Ms. Robertson, you, Ms. Robert, Ms. Robertson yes, sir. you are here in case 2021 MM 832 AO. The charge you're facing is assault. It's a second degree misdemeanor, punishable to 60 days in a county jail on a $500 fine. Miss mm -hmm. George, was it Ms. the public defender's office is representing you in this case to enter a plea of not guilty on your behalf. We're going to set you for pretrial in front of the judge, Bigney, on. Pretrial conference, October 28th at 1 o'clock, courtroom 12C. All right. So that gets you a court date in about a week and a half. And we'll, we'll see you. For a week and a half? 
I'm not. If you're not able to bond out, then you have to at least get you maybe maybe able to get a bond here in front of Judge Bigney. So at least get you in the process going forward and get your attorney and get assigned to your case so we can get you moving forward. Okay. Madam Clerk, uh, what division is that, please? Division sixty-three. Thank you. Good morning. I'm oh, sorry. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Tyrese Wade. Mr. Wade, you're here in K2019 MM8675 AO on two charges for failure to appear. Bonds in your cases are $2,500 and $100. Um, the state, was there offers to resolve? Not at this time, Your Honor. These kind of old cases now? He does, Your Honor. Um, I believe he was supposed to do pretrial diversion, um, but he was, I believe he was kicked out. I don't know. I mean, he has a, I don't know, I don't bond case. But all right, uh, sir, your bond's going to stay as set, $2,500 and $100. I'll get you in front of your division judge if you need a modification. I'm not taking any action on your open felony case. I'm going to point the public defender to represent Mr. Wade. All right, all sir. Mr. Wade, you already had a public defender representing you. Yes, sir. So keep in contact with your attorney. You have a great day, sir. All right, thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Good afternoon. Can you tell me your name, sir? Kelly Gibbs. Mr. Gibbs, you're here in case 2021-MO-1177-AO AO on charge of disorderly conduct. They reviewed the charging affidavit in this case. They did find probable cause for your arrest. The city of Orlando is usually offering a withhold of adjudication of guilt and court costs to resolve your case. Is that something you want to do today? Withhold court costs? Yeah, withhold adjudication of guilt and court costs. Yeah, because I can, yes. All right, can you raise your right hand to be sworn in? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. Are right, you put your hand down. Sir, here in that case for disorderly conduct, there's a second degree misdemeanor. It's punishable up to 60 days in the county jail and a $500 fine is the maximum penalties. You understand? Yes. Do you want to enter a plea of guilty or no contest to resolve this case? No contest. Do you understand by entering a plea of no contest, you're going to waive all the rights outlined on the plea form that's in front of you? Yes. Are you under influence of any drugs, alcohol, or medication? No. Have you now or in the past been diagnosed with a mental health illness? No. Has anybody forced, threatened, or coerced you to enter this plea? No. Do you understand by entering this plea if you're not a United States citizen and could subject you to deportation? I did have an opportunity to view your charging affidavit in this case, so I did find a factual basis contained therein. I'm going to accept your plea of no, no contest, find your plea is freely and voluntarily entered. I'm going to withhold adjudication of guilt. I'm going to give you two, one, sorry, two days or one day? Two days. two days in the Orange County Jail with two days credit time served. Court costs in this case are $223. I'm going to give you one year from today's date to pay that money directly to the clerk in full. You have 30 days from today's date to appeal your judgment and sentence in writing. Um, I don't have any money. I'm homeless. Right. You can send a letter to the clerk and see if we can get all your cases reduced to the judgment. And if ju uh, we'll get one order signed because you have a, probably quite a few open you know, debts. That, you know, we can probably get that done resolved. All right. You have a great day, sir. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to point a public defender represent Ms. Acevedo in 2021 CT 6889AO. I'll waive the appearance, Your Honor. All right. Did find probable cause for the charge of driver license suspended. 
She also had an on-view arrest for a Volusia County, what's well, not Volusia County, Alachua County VOP based on that same arrest. Court found probable cause for that. Going to set no bond in the Alachua County case. Going to set a bond in the dry license suspended case of $500. May not possess, let me not, sorry. May not operate a motor vehicle while without driver's license is conditioned in that case. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? I'm Jamal White. Mr. White, you're here in case 2021-CT6890AO on a charge of driving under the influence. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case. They did find probable cause for your arrest. Ms. Davis, oh, he's transient, they said. That's why he doesn't qualify. All right, Mr. White, we're going to release you in this case on pretrial release. Additionally, your pre-trial release not allowed to operate a motor vehicle while a valid driver's license. You may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol while a valid prescription. Okay. You will be subject to random drug testing through pre-trial release. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day. Are you too? Thank you, Judge. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Stevie Wynn, sir. Mr. Wynn, you're here in case 2021-CT1048AE on charge of driving license suspended as a subsequent offender. You did find probable cause for your arrest as that charge. You're going to set your bond in that case amount of $1,000, condition of the bond that you not operate a motor vehicle while a valid driver's license. You are also you're also arrested on armed view violation of probation. Looks like a Volusia County case, 2020 CF, CF 34896. Based on armed view violation, of course, going to set your bond at no bond. It looks to be a, you look to be a violent felony offender, special concern, so you're not going to be entitled to release or bail on bond on your violation of probation. It's that probation goes to hearing. You're going to appoint the public defender to represent you in these matters. Yes. Sir. Can I ask a question, sir? I'm going to have you talk to Ms. George because everything you ask me is on the record. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, have a good day, sir. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. Mm -hmm. We got, we got two horizons. Uh, Mr. Mr. Barnes is coming up. Do you want to do them all at once? Oh, he said um, Art Burger. Yeah, I got a Addie Addie Burger. Addie Burger. She's uh, he's behavior. All right, so he's that person. Now he's not coming. He's not coming. Okay, let's do that. Okay, first, first. All right, this 2021 CF one three five zero zero A O. Mr. Addie Burger. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent him. I'll waive the appearance, Your Honor. All right, we're going to find probable cause for his arrest of criminal mischief in a place of worship. They're going, going to set his bond in this case in the amount of $2,500, condition of the bond, no return to the scene to location, no contact with any victims or witnesses, may not possess any weapons or firearms or any accelerants. I want to point to already pointed the public defender to represent him in that case. All right. 
All right, we said Barnes is a uh, is coming up, or we're yeah, Barnes is here. All right, and then it was Acevedo. Acevedo, oh, sorry, Alvarado. He's Spanish. Spanish, yes. All right, okay. So we got to wait for him. Well, we can do Barnes. I mean, and this victim is for what case or a witness? Is on some Raymond Ben O'Mara. We haven't got to him yet. Yeah, but did they did actually say they were going to appear or okay. All right, let me get that started. We're gonna do Barnes right now and then burn it. Welcome to an Econo meeting. You are entering the meeting now. All right, good afternoon. How are you? I think you're on mute, but we're going to, I have one person in front of Mr. Barnett, and then I'm going to, Mr. Barrett, I'm sorry, and then I'm going to, I have to deal with Mr. Barnes, and then Mr. Barrett, okay? All right. All right. All right. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Uh, Landon Barnes. Mr. Barnes, you're here in case 2021 CF 13470 AO on charges of burglary or conveyance and pay theft of $100 or more. All right. Um, Mr. Barnes, did review the charging affidavit in case did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to Set your bond in account one amount $3,500 and count two $100. Condition is you're not returned to the scene the location. Have no contact with any victims or witnesses from that case. Want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. Does Duval already have a hold on him? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. All right. All right, sir. You have a great day. All right, counsel, I think you can unmute yourself because I, I couldn't hear you. I saw, I saw what you were saying. Your mouth was moving because I can see you on the screen, but yeah. <laughs> I apologize, Your Honor. I was telling you, thank you, Your Honor. I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah. All right, can you put your name on the record for me? Yes, Your Honor. Stacy Felter on behalf of Irvin Barrett. All right. Yeah. All right, Kathleen, sir, you tell me your name. Irvin James Barrett, Jr. Mr. So Barry, you're here in case 2018 CF 10448-GO for a violation of pretrial release. The judge signed your warrant in this case, set your bond at no bond. Your bond's going to remain at no bond this time. Um, counsel, is there anything else you want to tell me? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I will be um, filing a motion to, um, to reinstate. Um, I, I just wanted Your Honor to know that I have been in contact um, with Mr. Barrett, he voluntarily um, turned himself in um, the bail bondsman. He currently has bond on. Yeah, the other case. I saw. I, I have. I saw who Mr. Barrett was in front of me a few days ago. I think twenty third. Yeah, I think. Yeah, almost like yeah, a couple of days, a couple of days ago. And then I didn't take any action on this case, but I kind of let you know that you know that could happen with Judge Blackman, and Judge Blackman did take action on your case. So. I, believe that the state was supposed to be appealing the ruling in this case. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So you always can get in front of Judge Blackman. You have counsel to do that for you. And uh, you may find a way to may decide to reinstate your bond after hearing all the evidence in your case. Okay. All right. You have anything else before the court? 
I know, Your Honor. I just wanted uh, to make the court aware, and I'll let Judge Blackman know as well, that the uh, bail bondsman is going to stay on the bond. All right. All right. Everyone have a great day. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Everyone have a great day, Mr. Barrett. You too, Your Honor. All right. Have a good one. All right. Yeah. Honor, Mr. Board, Ms. Board, his mm -hmm. behavior. Oh, really? I was trying to get her this one and Williams together. Williams. They are take her back or Okay, co defendant. The co defendant is Mr. Williams. Wallace. Yep, the co defendant in this case, Mr. Williams. They were arrested together. Wallace. Wallace, I'm sorry. Wallace, I'm sorry. Wallace. Same, apologize. Wallace Williams, same, apologize. It was a W. <laughs> <laughs> You want him to come in, Your Honor? Uh, no, don't worry about it. I mean, because if not, Miss Board is not available, then I'll just wait with Mr. Wallace quit his turn. Um, we will, on point of public defender, represent Miss Boyd. Um, I'll waive the appearance, Your Honor. All right. Too bad, because I was going to confirm that she was going to live and I was going to release her. Um, All right, this is 2021 CF-135-14AO. They find probable cause for the charges of possession of controlled substance and trespass on school grounds. Your Honor, could she be screened? It looks like she was not interview. Could she be screened at least for pretrial release? And then if she doesn't qualify, you could set up on her? I was on straight RR, but I was trying to confirm that she was living at this address that she... You know, nobody's able to confirm her address, but... The 115 Lake Pleasant Road. Yeah. Yeah, that she was interviewed, and that's the address she gave. All right. All right, I'm going to, I was going to release her, Ms. Ward, on her own cognizance in this case. In addition that she not returned to the scene of the location, not possessing any drugs, alcohol, without valid prescription, have no contact with her co defendant, Mr. Wallace. Yeah, I think sir. Can you tell me your name? John Butler. It's a Butler. You are here in case 2021 CF 7025 AO. Your warrant had two counts, sexual battery on a child between the ages of 12 and 18 years old by a person uh, in a familial or custodial relation, and one count of lewd and lascivious molestation of a child between the 12, ages of 12 and 18 years old. However, the state of Florida has filed information in your case, charging alleging five counts. Counts one, two, three, and are the, that charge, sexual battery on a child between the age of eight, 12 and 18 years old by a person of familiar or custodial authority. And then counts four and five are lewd and lascivious molestation. Right. So the court did, the judge did find probable cause for your arrest as your warrant. Say what are you ask and I do on this information is counts one, two, and three. Your Honor, counts one, two, and three are punishable by life. I ask defendant be held no bond. And Ms. I want to point the public defender represents you, Mr. Butler. Ms. George, do you have a response as to the state's request in this case? No, Your Honor, we reserve the right to have Arthur here. All right, Mr. Butler, and counts one, two, and three, I'm going to stay your bond and no bond in that case. And counts four and five, we're going to set your bond in the amount of $100,000 on each count. Condition of your bond and in the and bonds or conditions in these cases that you had no contact with this victim or this victim's family. You had no unsupervised contact with any child under the age of 18 years old. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release and not return to the scene of the location where this incident occurred. You have a great day, sir.
Got a new order? Yeah, no, I figured. Want the information? I got I printed information. Mm-hmm. Got to know, sir. Can you tell me your name? Bertie, that's your number. So you're here in case 2021 CF 12481AO on a violation of conditions of pretrial release. Judge signed you warning in this case that your bond and no bond. Your bonds remain in no bond. Went to a point, the public, I think you already had the public defender appointed to represent you in this case. Check. No, no, wait, wait, no. You got a private attorney. Oh, so. Did Mr. King? Yeah, we had Mr. King, correct. All right, you have Mr. King representing you in your case. So if you haven't had good contact with him, it's just you give him a call and let him know you're here. All right, you have a great day, sir. Call your attorney. Okay, all right. All right, have a great day. Kathleen, sir, can you tell me your name? Patrick Gordon, sir. Patrick DeWayne Gordon. Mr. Gordon, you're here in case 2021 CF 13497AO on a charge of driving on the license suspended as a habitual traffic offender. They review the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to stay your bond in this case amount $2,500. Condition the bond that you not operate a motor vehicle without a valid driver's license. And say this Polk already has a hold on Mr. Gordon? Do not. Stay we ask not to take any action. Ask Mr. Gordon's probation. I'm just looking to see what he's on probation for, Your Honor. He's on probation for a fleeing and looting charge from Polk County. I ask that you revoke the bond, Your Honor. Right. What? I didn't get a full case number though. On my my face sheet got cut off. It was twenty. I see it's twenty twenty CF four three eight. I don't know if there's any other numbers after that. Four three eight eight. Four three eight eight. All right, sir, Mr. Gordon, you're on probation in Polk County case two thousand twenty CF four three eight eight. Court found an on view violation of your probation based on the real probable cause of your arrest in this our Orange County case going to. Hold you at no bond as your violation of probation. We're going to appoint a public defender to represent you in that case. You have a great day, sir. You have a great day. I'm the same to you, sir. Uh, so Michael Hare, oh, oh, sorry, Mitchell Hare. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's who I had next. Okay. Yes, All right. How's it? All right. Mitchell Hare. All right. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Uh, Mitchell Curtis Hare. The Hare, are you here in case 2020 CF 138548L? For charge of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, judge signed a warrant. In this case, it's found probable cause for your arrest. We're going to set your bond amount of $5,000. The bond's going to remain a set. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Ask your question. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you. I'll have you talk to Ms. George because everything you ask me is on the record. Yes, sir. Wait, wait, uh, Ms. George, talk to Ms. George. Senator, he's asking if you will be willing to reduce his bond. Um, he's been incarcerated for over five, five months, um, and he does not have the. Uh, he does not have five thousand dollars, or he cannot afford a five thousand dollar bond at this time. We'll get back to work. So he, he's well, going to get back to work. So he's asking if you would be willing to reduce the five thousand dollar bond amount. Uh, I probably. I'm not going to be like open to do that right now. You can get in front of your division judge to do it based on the information I'm looking at. I see you have 11 felonies, six misdemeanors, two failures to appear, the last conviction, 
that you were in custody for you talking about this for this while this was going on uh, was from June of this year, July of this year. I apologize. So we can get you. In front of your division judge, and maybe they have some other conditions that they're open to release you out on. All right. You have a great day, sir. All right. Now, I think you were telling me heart bonded? No, this is the heart bonded. Okay. Agnes Harrison bonded. Who? Agnes Harrison? I don't know if they don't have that. I didn't have. Harrison? Was it Harrison? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Eat your heart. Mr. Hart, you're here in three cases. The first one being 2021 CF 1349-1AO. I'm charged of grand theft. You got 2021 MM. 7241AO on charge of resisting officer without violence. He also had 2021 CF 13465AO on charge of driving license suspends a habitual traffic offender. They review all of these affidavits. They all come from the same transaction occurrence. They find probable cause for your arrest. As to 13491AO, want to set your bond amount of $150. As to 2021 MM 7241AO, want to set your bond amount of $100. And to us, 2021 CF 13465AO, want to stay your bond amount of $2,500. Condition your bond in all your cases. No return to the scene to location. No have any contact with any victims or witnesses from those cases. You may not operate a motor vehicle while a valid driver's license. State, do you have an offer to resolve this misdemeanor, open misdemeanor case? No, Your Honor. All right. All right, Mr. Hart, you are out on bond in two cases, 2021 MM 3184AO and 2021 CF 5033AO. Yeah. Did you, the, in 5-3, sorry, 5033, did they file all the charges in that case? No, just the possession of meth and drug paraphernalia. Okay. All right, go ahead, Ms. George. You were going to talk to tell me about something. No, I was going to ask if you would be willing to double the bond amounts as opposed to holding him at no Yep. Yeah. All right. That's what I was going to do. All right. Mr. Hart, in 2021 MM 3184 AO, I'm going to set or revoke those bonds, set a new bond in amount of $2,000. That's 2021 CF 5033 AO and count one. I'm going to or revoke that bond. Count one is going to be $2,000. Count two, $2,000. Addition to bonds. In, your, in the felony case, no drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You be subject to random drug testing in that case. Um, Your Honor, in his misdemeanor case, there's two charges. I'm oh, sorry, that's right. It was, it was two charges. I do 1,000, 1,000. Sorry. For 1,000 for the driver license suspended, $1,000 for the resisting officer without violence. I apologize to say. Yep. Correct. In the. No, there's no drugs, alcohol in the drug case, and yeah, in the felony drug case, and drug testing in the felony drug case. All right, all right. Have a great day, sir. All right. Well, you gotta tell me your name, but you gotta stand in front of a microphone for me. I had just John. All right, Mr. Hedder, you're here in case 2021 CF 13429AO for a charge of petty theft with two prior theft convictions. Judge signed your warrant in this case. has already found probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to say your bond amount of $1,000. Addition your bond is not returned to the scene of the location. Have no contact with any victims or witnesses from that case. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. Yeah. I'm sorry, who is this? Hedrich. Your Honor, you said you were staying the bond, but I have it listed at 3500 I'm sorry. This is John Hedrich, correct? Yes. All right. This is John Hedrich. I'm sorry. I'm setting his bond at $1,000. Okay. Apologize about that. Correct. Right. Setting the bond at $1,000. No contact with any victims or witnesses. No return to the scene. And I'm appointing the public defender to represent him in that case. All right. 
Got to know, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? Miss Chandra Holmes. Miss Holmes, you're here in case 2019 CF one two eight two one AO for a failure to appear warrant. Judge signed that warrant. In that case, set your bond in no bond. Your bond's going to remain in no bond. I believe you. You already had the public defender representing you in this case. You have a great day, ma'am. So no bond? Yes, ma'am. I can't get one? Not right now. I don't, the judge that signed the warrant had to give me authorization before this to do that, and they did not do that. So So when I go to court? I'm not sure. This is Judge Barber. Looks like you have an arraignment on 11 18. In two days? Three days? No, um, in about a month. November 18th is your arraignment at 9 a.m. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? It's one of the Jackson. Jackson, you're here in case 2021 CF 13507AO. On charge of possession of methamphetamine, they review the charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. They'll set your bond in that case amount of $1,000. Addition, your bond is you're not possessing any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. And you will be subject to random drug testing in that case. Out on bond in case 2021, CF, oh, sorry, PTR. Oh, yeah, she's out on pre-trial pre release in case 2021, CF 11522AO. Of course, going to revoke that pre-trial release. It's going to set bond in that case in amount $2,000. Condition, no drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. So to the random drug testing in that case as well. Ms. Jackson, you may want to talk to Ms. With Judge Lattimore about drug court if you have an issue with... Substance abuse. So you have to stop seeing me on a regular basis. Yes, sir. All right, have a great day, ma'am. What's up? You good? Okay, that's fine. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Byron Johnson. Mr. Johnson, you're here in case 2021 CF 13519 AO on charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon in two counts and carrying concealed firearm in the third count. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to set your bond in count one in the amount of $3,500. Count two, $3,500, and count three, $150. Condition your bond that you not return to the scene of the location. Had no contact with any victims or witnesses from this case. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint the public defender to represent you in this matter. You have a great day, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Curvin's Raymond. What's your full name? Curvin's Raymond. Is it Raymond Curvin's or Curvin's Raymond? Curvin's Raymond. All right. Mr. Raymond, you're here in case 2021 CF 11871 AO for a charge of aggravated assault with a firearm. Judge signing a warrant in this case has already found probable cause for your arrest. All right. 
Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name and spell your last name? Um, Dominique Efer, E A L F O R D. Can you raise your right hand and be sworn in? These psalmists swear affirm the testimony you're going to give in this matter is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you, God. Yes. All righty. All right, ma'am. Can Can you tell me how you know Mr. Raymond? Um, it's my daughter's boyfriend. And is your daughter still dating Mr. Raymond? Yes. All right. Do you does your daughter live with you? Yes. All right. And do you want to have contact with Mr. Raymond? Um, yes. Has anything like this happened in the past? No. Did drugs and alcohol play a role in this particular incident? No. Right. Say, so you got any questions for this witness? No, Your Honor. And Ms. George? No, Your Honor. Is this correct number 2020 CF 4185? Yes, that's correct. All right. Was, they, already, is, huh? they already placed the on view on here. Okay. Did they already filed it, what do you mean? Or? Yeah, like he'll be seen on it tomorrow. All right. All right was, Mr. Raymond, I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you in this case. Ms. George, is anybody want to advocate for anything other than no contact based on this affidavit and the fact he's on probation? Uh, Your Honor, I would just um, advocate for a non-hostile contact order based on um, the testimony. Well, because he's not getting out of I would just ask for a non-hostile contact order. All right. State. Your Honor, it looks as though back in May, the victim had him trespassed from her property and also that at that time she, he threw a brick through her car window. So I don't understand. I, I, I don't know. No I have no idea. I mean, that's the case that you guys would have filed. That seems like a a felonous charge that took, arose out of that deal, but it didn't. And then we had the incident that occurred here in this affidavit on August 31st of this year. Yeah, I'm going to go with no contact, Your Honor. All right. Mr. Raymond, I'm going to set your bond in this case in amount of five thousand dollars, condition of your bond that you had no contact with the victim in this case. You now return to the scene, the location where this incident occurred. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. Once you are appointed, the public defender represents you. In this case, uh, you're going to be seen tomorrow on this violation of probation that you're on. That you're on probation for. You're kind of an interesting character to me, Mr. Raymond. You know, you don't have any juvenile justice history. You seem to, at an adult, decide that you want to start donating your time to the state of Florida for free. I don't understand why you're doing that, but you may want to start thinking about that. All right, have a good day, sir. Um, it's not. Quite, it's not truly domestic, but it's not going to hurt. I gave him a copy. Yeah, I'll just have him sign it. It's fine. You have any questions about the stipulations on your no contact order? All right. All right. Have a great day, sir.
Got to start getting. Tell me your name. DeAndre Kendrick. So Kendrick, you're here in case 2021 CF 13520AO for a flea and attempt to loot law enforcement license sirens activated. You're also here in case 2021 CT 6899AO on charge of driving license suspended as a subsequent offender. They reviewed the charging affidavits in the cases, did find probable cause for your arrest as each charge. Going to set your bond in your felony case amount of three thousand dollars, and your misdemeanor case is going to set your bond amount of one hundred dollars. Misdemeanor traffic case amount of one hundred dollars. Addition to the bond is not operate a motor vehicle without a valid driver's license. Your out on bond just released on the second in case two thousand twenty one CF one two seven nine two AO. Or is court finding probable cause that you commit a new law offense while you're out on bond is going to revoke that bond. So a new bond is zero dollars. Going to point to the public defender represent you in case you're not already represented. You got a great day, sir. He said, um, I can't bind out. I got, I got to go to work. I lose my job. Your Honor, would you be willing to double the bond amount, um, given that he is currently working, and if he's held here, he won't be able to. He would lose his job, Your Honor. I have kids. Huh? This is Kendrick. All right, Ms. Kennedy, you're going to have to go, who's your, who's your division judge for that case, That's the open case? Division 12, you know, who's in Division 12, what judge? No, I just want to know if you know Division 12 is Division 12. No. No, Division 12 is for the old case. Not the new one. All right. So you're going to talk to Judge Calderon about your desire to get out and go to work. You know, all kinds of things like that. Yeah, if I miss, Probably could have avoided if I miss this. tomorrow, I'm fired. And I, I got this has been an avoidable situation. I, I real deal take care of my sick mom. All right. All things that you're thinking about now and you want to tell me about that should have been the thoughts you had before we got into the car. Sir, they didn't catch me in a car. You don't car. have a license, sir. <laughs> before you get in any vehicle where you were in a driver's seat or under control of that vehicle. Oh, no, sir. I'm just they didn't get me out of no car. Amen. All right. Yeah, but they didn't get me out of no car. They right. real deal just picked me out. I'm about to lose my job. All right. Have a good day, sir. All right. All right, got to you, sir. Can you tell me your name? Kurt James, sir. Sir, you're here in case 2021 CF 13468AO for carrying a concealed weapon by a convicted felon, possession of ammunition by a convicted felon in one, two, three, four, five counts, and possession of drug paraphernalia. They review the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. In count one, we're going to set your bond amount of $5,000. Count two, 
three, four, five, and six, one hundred and fifty dollars each, and one hundred dollars as to your last remaining count. Condition your bond. No weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within twenty-four hours of your release. You also may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You'll be subject to random drug and alcohol testing. I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you in this case. I'm not sure if the parole board is going to take action, so I'm not sure if you're going to be leaving us anytime soon, but we're going to find out. You have a great day, sir. You should seem to be on conditional release from DOC. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do. I, I, that's that's what I said. You may you may be be able to bond out, or you may be getting diverted somewhere else. I'm not sure what's going to happen. That's one. No, 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 yeah, I'm, no. You, yeah. you have a hold. You have a hold. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I said. That's outside of my my jurisdiction. Gathering the circuit, tell me your name. Columbus Lacey. So Lacey, you're here in case 2021 CF 13526AO for charge of possession of methamphetamine with intent to sell and deliver. One second. They review your charge affidavit in this case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in this case amount of $7,500. Condition of your bond that you're not. Possessing any drugs or alcohol while a valid prescription. You're not, you do not associate yourself with any known drug dealers or drug users. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. Your Honor? Yes, ma'am. No contact with the co defendant? Huh? Well, Lacey. I'm going to grab Ms. Lacey one second. Did I miss that? Mountain Jackson. Good. Yeah, just tell him no con don't can't have any contact with Mr. Jackson. With Jackson. Okay. No contact with Mr. Jackson. Yeah, co defendant. No contact with Mr. Jackson. This scanner is like losing his mind over here. All right, got the answer. Can you tell me your name? Hey, Long Lee. Mr. Lee, you're here in case 2021 CF 13492AO on charge of Grand Theft Motor Vehicle. Did review the charging affidavit in this case. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in this case amount of $2,000. Condition your bond that you not return to the scene of the location. Have no contact with any victims or witnesses. Going to appoint a public defender to represent you. Um, Mr. Lee, for somebody that's just joined us in May. You may want to be super weary about, you know, who you hang with, who you take stuff from, who you associate with. Yes, sir. Because it's going to land you right back where we were. All right. Have a great day. Appreciate it. Got to sir. Can you tell me your name? Sir. Tell me your name. James May. Mr. May, you're here in case 2021 CT 6900 AO for a charge of driver license suspended. And 2021 CF 13515 AO for charge of possession of cocaine. They reviewed the charging affidavits. They find probable cause for your arrest. I'm going to release, I'm going to release you on pretrial release in this case, in both cases. Condition your pretrial release, not operate a motor vehicle without a valid driver's license. Yeah. You may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. And you'll be subject to random drug testing and while you're on pretrial release. Want to appoint the public defender to represent you in both cases. 
Have a great day, sir. Okay. Are you A's in both cases? Yes, ma'am. I think I already did it. Did I already do it? Uh, low. Did I not do that? Like I felt like I did it. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Got the sir. Can you tell me your name? Yes, sir. Andrew Mills. Mr. Mills, you're here in case 2021 CF 13510 zero. AO on a charge of possession of cocaine. They reviewed a charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. Mr. Mills, if I release you, where are you going to be living? Where I'm going to be living? Yes, sir. I, I, I lease. Yeah. Are you going to be living at this Lake Baldwin Lane address? Yes, do you have benefits? Um, I do. Insurance for, for me? Yeah, for VA. You got your VA benefits? Oh, no. No VA benefits. No VA benefits. All right. All right, Mr. Mills, going to I want to release you on your own reconnaissance in this case. Condition your release is you're not possessed or consuming drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. You're not associate yourself with any known drug dealers or drug users. I'm going to appoint a public defender to represent you. You may want to make your way over to the domiciliary, talk to them, okay. figure out a situation you know is going to get you out of this cycle. We haven't seen you in a while, but it's been a while. It's been a while. It seems like we're back in the same habits, so you may want to find a way to get some help with the breaking them. Yes, sir. All right. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. This is the other smash. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. I do. Somebody tell me. Did Low Bond? Low, Mr. Low? Looking number? 210-23973. Yes. Thank you. All right. Kathleen, sir, can you tell me your name? Uh, Jeremy Morrison. So Morrison here in case 2021 CF13301 on the charge of criminal mischief. They reviewed the charging a felony criminal mischief. The judge, I did review the warrant. Uh, sorry. They reviewed the charging affidavit. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in this case in amount of $1,000, conditioning the bond, no return to the scene of the location, no contact with any victims or witnesses. I'm going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You also may not possess any weapons or firearms. Weapons or firearms you have need to be shown to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. All right. Have a great day, sir. <clears throat> Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? William Odom. So, Odom, you're here in case 2020 CF 4716BO for failure to appear. Judge, in that case, set your bond at no bond. Your bond's going to remain at no bond. Let me see, Mr. Odom, you already had a public defender or conflict. Are you have Mr. Herm representing, Mr. Herman representing you? You have a great day, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we have an attorney. Oh, give me one need a second. Looks like somebody filed a notice of appearance the other day. Yep, Mr. Scott. Yeah, Mr. Scott Herman. Yes, sir. Filed a notice of appearance on your behalf. So you make sure you call him. Make sure you get, you know, get in front of the judge. Get in front of the judge LeBlanc. I believe I'm supposed to do that tomorrow, sir. All right, sounds good to me.
The Honourable Mr. Penley, Andrew, refuse. I'm going to point to public defender represent Mr. Pendley in 2021 CF 13475 and 2021 CF 13494. I'll wait the appearance, Your Honor. All right, they review the charging affidavits for both cases. 13475 found probable cause for burglary of a conveyance and petty theft, two prior theft conviction. Sorry, it doesn't warrant. So the warrant for his arrest in that case. Find a probable cause for burglary of a conveyance and pay theft for two prior theft convictions. I'm going to set bond in count one, 3,500. Count two, 150. Addition of bond, no return to the scene of the location. No contact with any victims or witnesses from that case. May not possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms he has needs to be turned to law enforcement within 24 hours of his release. As well as he may not possess consuming drugs or alcohol by a valid prescription. In 2021, CF 13494AO, uh, we found probable cause for possession of Valprazolam as reviewing the charging affidavit, set bond $1,000. No drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription in that case. He's out on bond in two other felony cases for grand theft motor vehicle, which are grand theft of a conveyance and other drug charges. In 2021, CF 6908. In 2021, CF 6900. Of course, going to revoke those bonds in those cases and release conditions. Set a new bond at zero dollars. No contact with the victims in those cases. All right. Nothing, sir. Can you tell me your name? Uh, yes, Matthew Perley. Mr. Perley, here in case 2021, CF 13495 AL on a charge of drawing license suspended as a habitual traffic offender. Here would be the charging affidavit. Did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to stay your bond in that case, $2,500. Addition to bond, no operating motor vehicle, without valid driver's license. Judge, would you consider releasing me? I, I have a job. I'm supposed Sir. to start tomorrow. Sir, you were here literally 13 days ago. I understand. For the same charge. I'm supposed to be starting a new job. I understand. I'm, I'm, I can't. I didn't create this situation. I can't afford the bond. I did not create this situation. I understand that. It, it, I, you can't drive. Like. Like, do anything else. Like, don't like, find any other way. Sled. I, I don't know. Idea. Like, but you were here 13 days ago for another felony driving license suspended case, and you were arrested two days ago for that. Like a day and a half ago now for another one. I don't. I don't know what we can do to stop you from operating a motor vehicle until you get your license figured out. This job but, will do that. I'm not sure. If it will, because all right, have a great day, sir. Mm -hmm. Good sir. Can you tell me your name? Roger Powers. So, Powers, you're here in case 2021 CF 5533 AO. On a chart, I'm oh, sorry, a failure to appear warrant. Judge Sonny warrant in this case set your bond at no bond. Your bonds remain at no bond. Yes, sir. I believe you already had the public defender representing you in this case. Uh, yep. You already had the public defender representing you. Yes, I yep. so. yep. Have a great day, sir. Captain Newell, sir, can you tell me your name? Uh, I'm sorry, this is the other Spanish case. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Wait, damn, I broke something. All right. Sorry, say your name one more time. Spencer Maurice Rowley. 
Mr. Rutland, you're here in case 2021 CF 13512AO for charge of aggravated assault with a with a weapon. Yes, sir. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. We're going to set your bond in this case in the amount of $3,500, conditioning your bond that you have no contact with the victim in this case. You maintain a separate, you not return to the scene of the location. Not possess any weapons or firearms, weapons or firearms you have. Need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. And I want to appoint a public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. Yeah. I'm 53 years old, man. That's a jitter boy. 20 years old. You think I'm going to let him jump on me at my job? Then they bring I'll me talk to about Sir, sir. You may have a legit defense to this charge. You may not. The charge may not be a filed. I have no idea. I mean, right now, this is where we're finding ourselves. No, I'm saying. I mean, I also didn't. You know, you have an extensive criminal history. Right. Have a great day, sir. Look, I created all these felony charges, 16 felonies, 11 misdemeanors, several failures to appear, violations of probations, violent felony offender, special concern. That's it. Yeah. I think, sir, can you tell me your name? My name's Salcida. Sir, you're here in case 2020 CF 11978AO on... Two uh, failure to appear. Just set the bond and no bond in each one of your counts. Bonds gonna remain as set in this case. Let me check one thing. You already had the public defender to represent you in this matter. All right, you have a great day, sir. And say is this um I have a chance to look up um, Throw Bridge here. Are they in one of your pre child diversion programs? Um, in the open case? One moment, Your Honor. All right, good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me your name? April Trowbridge. May we here in case 2021 CF 13516AO on charge of possession of methamphetamine, possession of cannabis, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Did review the charging affidavit, did find probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in count one, amount of $1,000, count two, 150, and count three, 100. Conditioning the bond, no drugs or alcohol without a valid prescription. Be subject to random drug testing in that case. And state. Uh, Your Honor. Hmm. Yes, Your Honor. It appears as though on September 14th, uh, Ms. Trowbridge was referred to the drug diversion program, level two. Okay. All right. So, what do you want me to do as to that open case? At this time, Your Honor, you can take no action. All right. All right, Mr. Bridge. Since you get to getting along quickly on your other diversion case, I'm not going to take any action on that case. Yo, have a great day, ma'am. Your Honor, um, I understand. See, my father passed away in Tennessee last week. Mm -hmm. and I went home for the funeral. And Don't talk about the facts. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize. Yeah. Don't talk part, about of, part of if you're, having a, if you're having a substance abuse issue, it's about, the biggest part about that is about managing triggers. So when things traumatic happen in your life, when things change, when there's something adverse or something that happens, you got to have different tools and your, your abilities to your, your kind of toolbox built up. So you can learn to deal, you can deal with those things in different ways other than going backwards. So, you know, that's what happens to teach about recovery and those kind of different classes and you know, NA or AA and any other kind of things like that. You got to have all those tools in your toolbox. So when something happens, I can go to this tool. I, I, my only tool is going back to see my dealer or going to find somebody that's dealing or pushing, that's holding. 
then, you know, we're not going to be working on my recovery at that point. I'm going to be back in the same spot. I'm going to be in a worse position usually at that point. All right. Have a great day. Yep. Your Honor, uh, who do you have next? Turner? We did Turner earlier. Then we did Turner earlier. I have Van. He's mental health, Michelin. Your Honor. Jacob. Uh, yep. Michelin. 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 Yes. Yes, sir. He's mental health. All right. It's case 2021 CF 135040. Mr. Van Michelin. Uh, he's here on charges of battery on law enforcement officer resisting officer with violence and trespass after, on property after warning. Did review the charging affidavit. Did find probable cause for his, his arrest. Um, he just got here from Texas, but I'm going to release him on mental health pretrial release in this case. If he does not qualify for mental health pretrial release, I'm going to set bond in count one, amount of $1,000, count two, 150, count three, 100, condition no return to the scene of location, no contact with any victims or witnesses. Did you appoint us, Your Honor? I want to appoint a public offender to represent him. I'm sorry. And I'll wait the appearance. No, I yeah. just want to make sure we're appointed. Yeah, they'll appoint a public offender to represent him. In this case, anything comes up and... Counsel, you are here for Mr. Vega Suarez. All right, come on up. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, got to do sir. Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Vega Suarez. All right, Mr. Vega Suarez, you are here in case 2021 CF 13493AO on charge of burglary of a dwelling with a solid battery you're in. And, Counsel, put your name on the record. Attorney Mauricio Wed here on behalf of Mr. Vega Suarez, who's standing to my right. All right. And did find probable cause for his arrest as to that charge. Say, what are you asking that I do as to Mr. Vegas Suarez? Your Honor, the charge is punishable by life. I would ask defendant be held no bond. All right. And counsel, what is your response to the state's request at this time? Your Honor, first I'd like to point out that my client is 67 years old with no prior arrest, no prior criminal history whatsoever. Uh, second, uh, it's clear from the charging affidavit that he was um, cooperative with the police officer at the scene in terms of the statements that he made, uh, and he was arrested without incident. Uh, Your Honor, I'll also offer to the court, he is a cancer survivor. He has his entire family in the area. He is not a risk of flight. And so for those reasons, we'd ask the court to set some reasonable conditions of bond. All right. Well, question is for you, from, from me. Are you asking me to hold an Arthur hearing at this point, or are you reserving that right to, for Judge Roche? Or are you asking me to use my discretion in giving him a bond at this point? I am, Your Honor. I was going to say, which one? I'm, like, I, I'm asking you to use your, I'm sorry. I'm asking Your Honor to use the court's discretion to issue him a bond at this time based on the factors that I uh, pointed out to the court. Okay. All right, uh, I did review this charging affidavit. Um, Mr. Vegas Suarez was cooperative, uh, admitted to the alleged touching. Um, so right now, the court's gonna hold him at no bond um, based on the information in the charge affidavit. Addition to bond, no contact with this victim or to any witnesses from this case. No weapons, no firearms. The weapons and firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. I want to say no return to the scene of the location where this incident occurred. You have counsel representing you. I suggest you lean on his representations to you and trust in his, his art in representing you. I think he's just being, Your Honor, there's some words that we couldn't exactly hear. Oh, sorry. This time. I was asking, I'm telling you to like trust your, like lean on to your, listen to your attorney. So, and prior and, to that, when the court was outlining the, the, the different conditions, I'm afraid I didn't hear either. I heard right. some, no contact, but then I. No contact with, any victims, with, with, any, with the victim or any witness. No return to the scene. No weapons, no firearms. Any weapons or firearms he has needs to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of his release. And as far as the conditions of a, of a bond? As I said, I'm holding him at no bond in this case. You can have, you can have a full Arthur hearing in front of Judge Roche. If she, even though she may find proof of evidence presumption great, if she is in her discretion to give him a bond, 
and she'll do that. All right. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Have a good day, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? David Wayne Wallace. Mr. So Wallace, you're here in case 2021 CF 13513AO on charge of possession of a weapon by a convicted felon and trespass on school property. They reviewed the charging affidavit in your case, did find probable cause for your arrest. We're going to set your. All right. Actually, uh, Mr. Wallace. You don't live with Miss Boyd, do you? No, sir. All right. All right, I want to set your bond account one amount of $1,000, count two, $100, condition of the bond, no contact with Ms. Boyd, no weapons or firearms, the weapons or firearms you have need to be determined to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release, and may not possess or consume any drugs or alcohol while out on release in this case. I want to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. I wanted to ask you a question. It um, says that... Uh I had a firearm or weapon? No, it was a weapon. It was a knife. It, it was okay. a weapon. Or it says weapon or firearm. Okay. So that's why, that's why I read it as possession of a weapon by, it's, it's actually possession of a concealed weapon by a convicted felon. That would be the charge. All right. Have a good day, sir. What is the Raymonds? Okay. Me too. All right. Mr. White. All right. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Hello. How you doing today, sir? My name is Jamal Robert White. Mr. White, you're here in case 2021 CF 13252AO on charge of battery with a prior battery conviction. They reviewed the charge. Sorry. There's a warrant for your arrest in this case where a judge found probable cause for your arrest. Going to set your bond in this case in amount of two thousand dollars. Additionally, your bond that you had no contact with any victims or witnesses from this case. You may not possess any weapons or firearms. Any weapons or firearms you have need to be turned over to law enforcement within twenty four hours of your release. And you may not return to the scene of the location. We're going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Have a great day. Oh. Okay. All right. So, do you guys want to do Spanish or do Raymonds? Raymonds. All right. Is there Is this the one arraignment in Spanish? Right. Is the one arraignment in Spanish or weird? Uh, the one arraignment. No, no, the, um, not, not Mr. Pryor. I'm talking about uh, I have a Crystal Marie Anguello, Anguenino Gonzalez. Aquino Gonzalez, she's uh, medical. So those are the medical. Sorry, that's medical? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so it's that case. That's 2021 MM 7211 AO. Does he already have a public defender? No, I don't have a machine. All right. He didn't file a, a waiver? So, ah. Uh, I'll do this. 
it, all right, so technically I'll do this. I'll enter a non-presidential plea of not guilty on her behalf. I'll set her for pretrial in front of Judge Jewett. Pre-trial conference, November 15th at 1.30 p.m., courtroom 4B. All right. Yeah, she has Jose Lopez, um, but I think, like a lot of people, don't, they don't know that when a new information is filed, that they actually have to file another waiver. Yeah, but I'll enter a non-presidential plea of not guilty, and we'll, if there are any defenses, you can raise them in the next 10 days to the information. All right. Got things, sir. Can you tell me your name? Yours, Eric Pryor, Jr. So, Pryor, you're here in case 2021 MM 632AW on a charge by information, a charge of resisting officer without violence. They reviewed a charge, sorry, that's a first degree misdemeanor, punched up to one year in the county jail and a thousand dollar fine. Represented by the public defender's office in this case, Ms. George, what plea on the inner half of Mr. Pryor? Not guilty, Your Honor. Mr. Pryor, going to accept your plea of not guilty in this case. Going to set you for a pretrial and trial on the following dates in the. Oh, what division is this? Division 83, pretrial conference, October 25th at 8.30, courtroom 6B. All right. Have a good day, sir. All right. Good afternoon. This is Dalia Romero, Spanish interpreter on the line, already sworn in. Welcome back, Ms. Romero. This is Judge Bain calling from the BRC. Can you see if you can make a connection with my headsets again? Yes, Your Honor. One moment. You can hear the interpreter. All right. Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell me your name? Jose Agustin Alvarado Mendez. So are you here in case 2021-MM7240-AO on a charge of battery? What date was that for? You're here on K2021 MM7240 AO on charge of battery. View the charging affidavit in your case. They find probable cause for your arrest. But we'll set your bond in this matter. We'll say your bond in this case amount of $1,000. Condition of the bond no contact with any victims or witnesses from this case. You cannot possess any weapons or firearms. The weapons or firearms you have. Need to be turned over to law enforcement within 24 hours of your release. As well as you're not allowed to return to the scene of the location where this incident occurred. Well, sorry. This happened. Why well, this happened at the jail? Well, I will strike that. No, no. When, uh, Your Honor, he's asking what date was this case from? This is from the 13th, it's from yesterday. I don't know why it's only charged as a battery. But Yesterday? It says... I've been locked up for 25 days already. Okay. Looks like he got into a fight with your celly. Don't talk about it. No contact with the victim? No weapons of firearms? Right? 
I'm I being punished. I asked to be in protective custody because I was better. Okay, have a great day, sir. Yona, can you just confirm the conditions? Yeah, it was, it was $1,000, no contact with the victim, no weapons, no fire. No, no contact with any victims or witnesses, no weapons, no firearms. Okay, thank you. Yeah, 24 hours, yes. All right. Gathering and Circuit, tell me your name. You gotta get in front of the microphone. Josué Rafael Ríos Rivera. Josué Rafael Ríos Rivera. All right. Sir, so you're here in case 2021 CF 13426AO on charge of pay theft with two prior theft convictions. Judge signing your warrant in this case has already found probable cause for your arrest. Let's you set your bond amount of $1,000, condition of the bond, no return to the scene of location, no contact with any victims or witnesses from that case. Going to appoint the public defender to represent you. You have a great day, sir. Yeah. All right, have a great day, sir. Thank you, Mr. Merrill. That was my last case. Thank you, Your Honor. Have a good afternoon. You too. Thank you.